We are back now with that exciting baby news for Serena Williams. The tennis superstar revealing she's pregnant, posting this photo. But now there are big questions about what's next for one of the world's greatest athletes. TJ Holmes is here with more. Hey, TJ. All right, Strand, stay with me. Being pregnant, winning a Grand Slam title. Now, I've never done either, but I hear both can be challenging. Well, apparently Serena Williams did them both at the same time earlier this year. That's right. She was about eight weeks pregnant when she won the Australian Open. Game, set, baby for Serena Williams. The world's best tennis player posted this photo of herself on Snapchat Wednesday, appearing to show off a baby bump with the caption, 20 weeks. But then, just as the congratulations started pouring in from fans, fellow players, and celebs, she deleted the pic. Her rep now confirms the pregnancy and tells ABC News Serena is expecting a baby in the fall, which means that back in January when she beat her sister Venus to win the Australian Open and set the Grand Slam titles record, she was approximately eight weeks pregnant. We've always said that Serena Williams is superwoman, that she literally is a superstar. And if this doesn't prove it, nothing does. The 35-year-old tennis superstar has been engaged to Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian since December. Okay, so we're shopping for... Ohanian posted this video of the two just last week. Serena's rep says she'll definitely not return to tennis in 2017, but look forward to be back in 2018. She always bounces back, and she is going to come back in 2018, and the world, tennis fans, people will be riveted to see how she can play and what she does next. And get this, guys, because of the way the rankings work, she's number two in the world right now. She's going to go back to number one on Monday without ever picking up a racket. So that's more good news. But, guys, because people are hearing how amazing this was that she won that Grand Slam while she was pregnant, a lot of comment online. Someone said, every man should shut up about everything ever at this <laughs> point now after she just pulled this off. It's good universal advice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, you got a better shot of winning that tennis title than the other right. one, my friend. I just want you to know that. And now we're going to be joined by our chief women's health correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. And we were just talking about this. It just seems so amazing. She's 20 weeks pregnant now. She won the Australian Open at eight weeks pregnant. But what right. was her body going through? I mean, first of all, did you remember at eight weeks of pregnancy, the fetus is about the size of a large raspberry, okay? The uterus is about eight weeks in size, eight centimeters in size. This would be like you playing a football game with a broken finger. She is an elite athlete. She, her body can do amazing things. Say it with me. Pregnancy is not a disease. And I, if I hear one more story of people saying, a pregnant woman, she's so fragile. If pregnant <laughs> women were that fragile, the human race would have ceased to exist hundreds of years ago. <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, I, I will say this, though. At eight weeks, that's right when I started to feel my pregnancies. I mean, I started right. to get really nauseated. I felt pregnant. That was the line for me. But you yeah. mentioned she is an elite athlete. Are there any unique concerns when you put your body through so much? You know, there's no question. Could she have been more fatigued? Absolutely. Could she have been a little nauseated? Absolutely. We don't have a lot of great literature in obstetrics about elite athletes and their training during pregnancy. But what we do know is that they can continue to behave and perform pretty much at their level, pre-pregnant, during most of their pregnancy, Wow. Sports specific, of course. I mean, we don't want to see people skydiving or, or doing things at high speed. Um, and the general recommendations during pregnancy for both the elite athlete and for the average woman are be active. For an elite athlete, train to maintain. You're not going to train to build um, any more necessarily. But listen, she knows her body better than anyone. Yep, I'll be honest with you. I cried like a baby when I broke my pinky. <laughs> <laughs> but next year's Australian Open, she'll. Next year's Australian Open fall when she'll be four months right. uh, had the baby. Maybe four months later, will she have enough time to recover and play in that tournament? Uh, do you listen, think? I think that remains to be seen. It, it's an individual thing for most women. And, you know, we have to remember we're talking about one of the most elite athletes in the world. But every single day, average women do incredible things at eight weeks, eight months, <laughs> and four months postpartum. And it doesn't make national news. So we got to give a shout out to those women. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. George, I've never felt so small. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cower over here like this. Oh, wait, yeah. Humbled again by Dr. Ashton. Okay.